So today I'm gonna show you how you can create a very simple enemy in Unreal Engine 4 and the enemy will follow the player and when it touches the player the player dies and the level reloads and if you're like completely new to this and you don't have any skeletal meshes that you can use I have uploaded the simple skeletal mesh that I'm gonna use to my Unreal Engine, no, <laughs> UnrealTutorials.com page. So you can go there and download the mesh and try this with me. So what you do is you go to UnrealTutorials.com, go to downloadable content. and here you will find the killer drone mesh pack and as you can see <laughs> it's not really serious you know it's just a simple mesh with one single bone no animation uh, just so you can learn to create this kind of simple enemy so you simply go here and click download and the zip file will start downloading right away and these are the contents of the folder one blender file so you can modify it if you want and one killer drone fbx file and some uv maps and whatever so either you use that or you simply use some mesh you have yourself yeah. okay so open the level you would like to use it on in and I'm gonna create that's something that's gonna be there. So, first things first, right click and create new basic asset blueprint. Character. I'm gonna call this AI Killer Drone. Like that. And save always save you never know when the software will you know crash and die <laughs> next up is to import the mesh so go to import and I have already found this so you choose the killer drone .fbx and open now this version of uh, the Unreal Engine 4 is 4.5 um, I don't know if my simple skeletal mesh works with the earlier versions of it, but I know it works with this version. So if you're using, you know, an earlier version, you will just have to find out. So what you do is import a skeletal, boom, and make sure you import the materials and textures, and just click import all. And you don't have to care about any of these messages. At least not now. Save again and double click the killer drone to see if it's here. And as you can see it's tiny 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 like a little bacteria. <laughs> a virus. That's okay, that's okay. It's good enough for this purpose. We'll just scale it up anyway. You know the scales in Blender is like tiny uh, compared to the scales in Unreal. So now we're gonna open the blueprint. Go to components. Select mesh. <coughs> and in the details of the mesh. Scale mesh and you choose the one you're gonna use. I'm gonna take killer drone. And if you use this you're probably gonna have it a lot smaller than this so then just scale it up until it fits nicely inside of this capsule collider you don't have to care about animation or anything like that because there's no animation on this however if you're using a more complicated mesh then you probably got an animation 
but that's not a part of this tutorial. Um, yeah, that's probably enough for now, so just compile and save. I'm gonna drag this into the scene. He's gonna be a Dora Guardian. The Dora Guardian bird killer drone thing. I'm just gonna check that it's actually visible. Here it is. Looking ugly. <laughs> but that's okay, that's okay. Now we will have to place the volume that dictates where this enemy will be able to go. So you gotta go to volumes, scroll down until you find nav mesh bounds volume so you drag this into the scene and if you push P you can see the exact um, place where it is so you just choose where you want the enemy to be able to walk and I want it to be able to walk inside of this little corridor so when I'm when the player is coming in here it will trigger the enemy and it will be triggered by a trigger volume so find the trigger volume drag this into the scene now I don't want to see this no more so and the trigger volume should be this big so when I cross this it will trigger the enemy and he will come for me So now this is set up, so it's time to go into blueprints. I will start by uh, selecting the trigger volume, enter blueprints, open level blueprints, right click, then we're gonna have add event for trigger volume on actor begin overlap, like that. Next, go out, select the enemy, and back into blueprints. Right click, add reference to AI killer drone. Now, drag this out and get controller. And if you don't see get controller here, just uncheck context sensitive. And here we have pawn get controller like that and we want this enemy to move to the player so we're gonna drag this out from return value and just take simple move to actor boom like that and the goal should be the actor the player so we will search for get player controller like that and just connect that to the goal and this action will be initiated by the trigger volume being triggered so we connect that to the simple move to actor compile so now if everything is as it should be which it should be it should work let's see First, save, 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 play, boom, and here he comes, boom, but nothing happens, but that's okay. So now we will make sure he actually kills the player, so select the AI. But first, I'm gonna make this this into a section I will call Killer Drone Move to Player Edit Killer Drone Follow Player 
like that and then we're not gonna add a reference to it now but we're gonna go to add event collision and then add on actor hit so when the killer drone hits the player the player will die and the level will reload actually the only thing that happens is that the level reloads but that means the player is killed so yeah but I want to make sure that it functions so I'm gonna take print string and I'm gonna write something die infidel <laughs> That's like what the killer drone is saying to the player, you know. Die in Fidel. That's actually a little bit more pink, but who cares. And then I want a sound. If I had like a screaming sound, that would be perfect, but I don't have that now, so I'm just gonna take something else. So I'm gonna take play sound at location. And I'm gonna use one of my own sounds which is button push and I'm gonna take the pitch multiplier down a bit to make the sound deeper and I'm gonna make it a bit louder by doubling the volume multiplier and now we're gonna open level so open level boom and then make sure you know what your level is called. Mine is called FPS level test. Nine? Yeah, I think it's nine. This should be it. Create a new comment section. <sighs> Killer drone kills player like that. So now this should be all that's needed. Let's see. Come in, boom, and here he comes. Boom! Kills the player. And I was sent to another level. <laughs> That was kind of weird, but okay. But it happened a little bit too quick, actually. So I'm gonna add a delay in between this after playing the sound so the player can get the time to realize that, whoa, I'm dead. I'm gonna add a delay and just make it 1.5 seconds enough, that's enough. Now why I came to the wrong level... I don't know. Because this level is called FPS test level 9. So yeah, whatever. That's no big deal right now. Let's see now. Boom. Yes, so that's good. Now, that's it really, that's all you need to have, but uh, one guy asked me a question, he wanted to have the enemies notice the player when they heard the player and then come running for the player, but I'm not that advanced yet, but I know you could kind of bypass that problem and fake it to a certain extent so if you were let's say this is a guard and he's he's busy standing you know standing like this pissing in the corner or something <laughs> and you want the player to be able to kinda sneak past him so the player let's say aren't making that much sound then what you could do is rather make it so the sound only is hearable from a certain distance so you could take your trigger volume 
and let's say place it like here so then as long as the player is at this distance the guard won't notice but if the player comes too close it will kinda of trigger the guard and he can hear him and then take him so by placing the trigger volume at certain locations in your level you might be able to kind of fake it until you know something more complex so now I could I could walk here you know and the guard wouldn't know anything I could just like sneak a look yeah well <laughs> that just depends how you place it so I would probably have to place this a little bit further like this so I could sneak past him but you get the point so you know yeah that's it there's something you wanna know or anything then let me know have a nice day